Welcome back, everybody, to the Real Estate Talk Show, your source for all things real estate. I have in studio here with me Justin Rosello, and he's the VP Lending of Mortgages for Real Wealth Group. And we were just talking about, of course, the drop in the interest rate and uh, certainly how you can capitalize on that. But we're now going to talk a little bit more about private mortgage investing. And I just wanted to touch upon when we're looking at mortgages, it's not just about the interest rate. So, Justin, a lot of people focus on that that number uh, mm-hmm. to, to make a decision in terms of who they're going to use or in some cases they just only look at that number sure. uh, and sign their life you know their their name on that dotted line right. uh, to secure a mortgage but there's other things that we need to be concerned about right because it's not just the interest rate that makes up a mortgage offering no it's um, whatever your, your plan is it's you need to consider <clears throat> what's best for your, yourself and your family and your situation right so if you're if you're gonna move into a new place uh, you're not too sure how long you're going to be there. You might want to choose a, a lower term than a five-year fixed. Okay. Right? You might want to choose a, a three-year term, a two-year term, maybe something variable, right? Um, so good- you have flexibility that you don't get penalized, Justin, when you decide that, of course, you either can port it and move it with you. Sure. In some cases, that can be d- difficult to do, though. Absolutely. Um, so you want to know that you're not going to be paying big penalties for getting out of the mortgage. Now, what about exactly. also the ability to pay down without penalties? You know, sure. those are beautiful options that when you can, you don't want to be penalized if you decide you want to throw 10000 or fifteen, or you get a bonus. You'd like to apply it to the mortgage itself, do you? No, absolutely. Uh, most lenders that we work with, uh, they have prepayment options, okay. either 15% or 20%. Um, when speaking on penalties, and if you do decide, nobody wants to break uh, the term of their mortgage or they're anticipating to do so when they're signing that contract. Um, but you need to know that um, the penalties that, that are out there, if you're choosing a variable rate mortgage, um, it's straightforward. It's three months of interest. You'll always pay three months of interest on any variable rate okay. mortgage. If you're choosing a fixed term, uh, it's either three months of interest or interest rate differential. Um, interest rate differential works in a decreasing market. So right now, rates are falling. Uh, so we may see uh, more interest rate differential calculations come up Uh, And that could be quite costly for the consumer. All right, good point. Now, if somebody started off with a variable, Mm -hmm. and let's let's just say uh, interest rates start to rise a little bit, and they've chosen to lock in, but then their circumstances have changed, and of course they are aren't able to port the mortgage, and they do have to uh, dissolve it. Sure. Uh, Is it now because it's a fixed term? Um, do they have the fixed term penalties that are applicable uh, or will it reside with the original actual mortgage itself when it was a variable or is there a time frame before it actually is considered uh, you know, a fixed term and therefore they're going to be paying those types of penalties? Right. So when you're starting off in a variable, if you do decide to lock in, uh, some lenders will, uh, you, you can lock it in at any time. Um, some lenders will make you pay that three months of interest. Okay. Some lenders will absorb it. All right. um, and when you do lock in, obviously you're locking into the market rate as of that day. Okay, right? very good. And this is something, Justin, again, that you and your organization help everybody with because uh, it's really understanding the terms of that contract, which there's a lot there. Sure. Not just that interest rate. Not just that interest rate. All right. Um, for other terms as well, some lenders offer um, uh, more favorable discounts. Mm-hmm. Um, there is sometimes they have caveats in there where uh, if you do decide to leave them, you have to pay a certain percentage. Uh, some lenders say that, uh, you know, we're going to give you uh, tremendous discount, but you can't leave us uh, unless you sell the property. Oh, so okay. there is there is no way of uh, of paying them out or refinancing. Uh, you'd have to stay with that lender. So there's small things out there uh, just to know when when you're being attracted by that uh, aggressively low so rate. So Justin, even more reason to use an expert such as yourself, okay, and, and Real Wealth Group. So let's talk a little bit about private mortgage investing. Sure. Uh, so private mortgages, um, but let's say, for example, you uh, you have a great rate. So uh, you, you're having, you know, prime less a half or prime less 90 and you're paying, uh, you know, today's at prime being at 3 percent, 2.1 or, or 2.5. Um, you've had that rate for a while. Your situation's changed. Um, maybe you've missed a few payments. Maybe you're not working uh, at the same capacity as you were before, but you do need access for those. Uh, you need access for funds. Um, your credit... Uh, your debts have increased. Um, you're, you're in need of a consolidation. You go to your your lender. You go to your bank, and they're not able to assist you because of your situation. Mm. Um, a private mortgage can come in in handy or can be useful uh, for these types of situations. Okay. Now, by going ahead and using a private lender, can you do so, Justin, just on where you're needing help? You might need that little buffer. Let's just say all of a sudden you've got credit card debt and, and you know, maybe it amounts to $40,000 where you sure. need a little cash flow as well. So you can go ahead with that private lender to obtain a second to be able to help you with that. Will that in any way hinder um, the existing first mortgage? I mean, are there risks in that? 
No, you can leave that first mortgage in place. Okay. You can get the second mortgage. So we'll use your example of $40,000. So say you owe $40,000 in credit cards and lines of credits. Uh, for those that have had balances on their credit cards and lines of credits, you'll see that you pay 2% of whatever that amount is that you owe. So $40,000, 2%, you're paying $800 a month. Mm. Um, general rule for the second mortgage is we'll just throw out a general percentage. It's, it's about 12%. Okay. Um, if you're paying 12% on, on 40 on 40,000, so 12% a year, 1% a month, you're paying $400 a month for that second mortgage. So it may seem like a high number, but if you're in that situation where you're having a good rate um, with your first mortgage, uh, cash flow, that $800 is it's bringing you a little bit of pain. Getting that second mortgage and reducing that payment by $400, cutting it in half essentially, uh, it's a strategic um, financing solution for you to get by until your situation improves yeah. and then you go back to your... Uh, you go back to your initial lender, and then they'll refinance out for you. I like it. And if there's people now that are in that situation where they are not able to get refinanced, so let's say their mortgage, they're not getting renew- renewed with their existing lender, uh, is this service, I mean, there is a private options that are available to them, right, for their mortgages? Absolutely. There's, um, if, you're, if your initial lender will not renew you, there's other companies that may give you a chance. There's trust companies that we work with that are okay. more lenient in terms of, of their underwriting practices, more uh, of a common sense approach. Uh, you may pay a little bit of a higher rate, right? So rates right now, we'll, we'll call them hovering around 3%. Uh, if you go to a trust company, that's more uh, uh, more lenient yes. on on, on under, under underwriting criteria. You'll probably pay around 4, 4.5%, 5%. So you're looking at anywhere from an additional 2 to to 4% uh, uh, for that type of lender. Right. If you're going into, uh, we call them B lenders. If you're going to a trust company, you're you're probably going to pay about 2% higher on average. And then if you're going to a private lender, you'll probably pay around 4% higher. Very good. Okay. But again, it gets you out of that situation. This is not something that you want to be in for a long term. No, But you certainly also don't want to lose your home. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize, that they just don't have the guidance. Um, This happens. It, 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 it's you're not bad. No, it's a part of life. Not. Circumstances change. Somebody could become sick. Sure. You may not be able to work the same amount of hours for whatever reason. At the end of the day, it is there's solutions out there, and you want to exhaust all of those to make sure that you're doing the right thing for your situation. And having somebody like yourself, and of course the Real Wealth Group, you can analyze everything, sure. and then help them to pick the right options. Because it's it's the dollars and cents, but it's also making sure that whatever you're signing up for makes, you know, you know, just truly allows for you to have that breathing room on that temporary basis, or it could be long term, but you know, in your heart of hearts that you're doing the right steps, of course, moving forward to improve your situation, not to make it worse. Justin, as always, great information, great insight. And of course, we're going to tell everybody to make sure that they reach out to you if they have any questions and they can do so by visiting realestatetalkshow.ca. There's actually the Real Wealth Group tab on there. And if you have any questions for Justin directly or just mortgages, um, I mean, you know, just questions in terms of your current situation, there's no such thing as a silly question. You go ahead, fill out that form. And of course, we'll make sure that uh, they reach out to you directly uh, and we'll get back to you. You can also call us anytime, our hotline at 1-844-ASK-RETS. That's 1-844-ASK-R-E-T-S. So Justin Rosello, great job. Love having you back and we'll see you soon. Thanks for having me.